folks said that there had been some sort of stench over the last week or two. So again, it will be up to the coroner to determine um, cause of death, identity, and that sort of thing, um, as well as how long the body had been here. Authorities in Richland County are investigating two suspicious deaths, plus a baby whose remains were found during an eviction in the upstate died nearly a year earlier. This according to the coroner's office and a Lexington County elementary school teacher who assigned students to role play as the KKK and slaves has been placed on administrative leave. And Cassie Alia, the widow of slain Forest Acres police officer Greg Alia, was a recipient of the Peace Dove Award. From the ABC Columbia studio, I'm Kimberly Davis. Thank you for joining me. Here are your trending headlines for Thursday, September 21st. We begin with two unrelated cases out of Richland County. Investigators with the Richland County Sheriff's Department say the decomposed body of a woman was found Wednesday morning in trash along Two Notch Road. Hours later, deputies found the body of a man in a residence on River Wind Drive. Investigators say an employee was cleaning up in the 6600 block of Two Notch Road Wednesday morning when they discovered a woman's body in the trash just after 10 and notified authorities. Investigators say the body was there for an extended period of time. Then just hours later on Wednesday afternoon, deputies responded to 1652 River Wind Drive. That's where they say they found a man inside a home dead. Details are limited at this time. An autopsy for both victims was scheduled for today. If you have any information that could help investigators in either of these cases, you can remain anonymous by calling one triple eight crime SC. Deputies with the Lawrence County Sheriff's Office were called to Fountain Hills Apartments to conduct an eviction. During that process, they say they found the remains of a deceased baby. According to Fountain Inn Police Chief Keith Morton, the remains were found inside a sealed container, which were inside two other containers. According to the coroner, the manner of death and the sex of the baby could not be determined. Chief Morton said a person of interest has been interviewed and the child's mother was placed in detention. However, no charges have been filed. Fifth grade students at Oak Point Elementary School were asked to imagine that they were a member of the KKK and to justify the treatment of African Americans. The teacher who assigned that homework is now on leave. An official with Lexington Richland School District 5 said the district is, quote, taking this matter very seriously. This comes after a man posted a picture of his nephew's assignment on Facebook. The teacher also allegedly asked the students to imagine that they were newly freed slaves and explain if they were satisfied with their lives after freedom. Well, this morning, students at Richland One's Brockman Elementary School turned the tables on a local community organizer who is usually the one giving out awards. Cassie Alia, founder of Heroes in Blue, was presented with the school's annual Peace Award. Alia is the widow of Slain Forest Acres police officer Greg Alia. She started the nonprofit organization shortly after his death in 2015 to promote healthy relationships between the men and women in law enforcement and the communities they serve. The annual Heroes in Blue for a Night of Honor Gala will be held Saturday, September 29th at the Forest Acres Lake Country Club. For more information about the event, visit abccolumbia.com. The death toll following the earthquake in Mexico continues to climb and Hurricane Maria left all of Puerto Rico without power. We'll have the latest on these stories on World News Tonight with David Muir. Stay up to date with breaking news, weather alerts, traffic updates, sports and more when you download the ABC Columbia mobile app. I'm Kimberly Davis. Have a great Thursday and thanks for watching.